Hey there guys, Pajama Prepper here. Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you a cool little gadget I picked up on eBay. This is a Civil Defense dosimeter pen with charger, and I'll show you how both of these work. But this is the 742 dosimeter pen. This measures radiation in rotogens. It measures from 0 to 200 rotogens, and I'll show you here. When you look into it, I have to use my flashlight to provide the light. You can see there's a scale. Put your eye up to it. I'm holding upside down, sorry. <laughs> You'll uh, see the scale in there. And it has little lines, and then a uh, quartz fiber it will move across as it detects radiation, and it will tell you um, how much radiation you've been exposed to. Now, you're supposed to wear this like a, you know, a pen light on your pocket or whatever, and, you know, so it's definitely gives you a good idea of how much radiation you're being exposed to right around you. It's not like, you know, oh, there's this much radiation detected by New York. Well, I want to know how much is right around me. <laughs> and it came with the instruction manual, and here's the charger. So basically the way this works is you have this knob here, which zeroes or adjusts the scale. Um, then you have the charging contact, and basically I'll show you here, there's a uh, light bulb, and by when the contact here gets pressed down, it turns on that light. Um, and then this is the fastener. And what this does is that's what you loosen up to open up the uh, charger to install or remove the battery. It's basically just a big threaded screw. And on the inside here, we got a Rayovac battery that the seller provided. Actually, I don't even know if it came with this. If it did, if this was the original battery, that's pretty interesting. It also comes with a spare light bulb. This is the light bulb that's attached to there that for the reading. As you can see, it goes right through to there. Um, then it has a, a bunch of like little springs and stuff, so it looks like, again, as you push down, the springs engage and forces the contact. I mean, look at the solder on this. A lot of little, a lot of thick solder. And then uh, down here you have all the uh, other stuff, all the components underneath there. There's a wiring diagram inside the box as well. And then there's also more information inside here. Uh, so I've already tested it out and zeroed it because it was reading like a right, or it was actually below zero, and when I uh, zeroed it out, it uh, doesn't show the line anymore. So I guess when you zero it and calibrate it back to um, when it's, you know, not detecting any radiation, it's going to show that. It's not going to show a line. Um, I didn't get, I couldn't, when I turned this, I couldn't get the line to move up or down. The line was there when I first got it. So, I mean, if anything, if I can't figure it out, if I think it's broken, these are cheap enough to where I can buy another one. You know, and I'll just, you know, I'll go on eBay and buy it. I'm going to buy a couple more anyway. And this way, I just bought it as a collectible. I thought it was really cool. It was 20 bucks, with like $6 shipping. I really couldn't pass that up. For someone like me, this is going to look good in a, in a uh, on a display. So I definitely uh, bought it with, um, you know, no real intention of using it for prepping, but it's a prep. You know, I, if, if there's ever a radiological emergency, maybe, maybe it's still useful. I think it is, by the way. I'm not saying it won't be. But I'd, uh, you know, I think that at the end of the day, it's an awesome collectible. I mean, maybe 20 years from now, you might not even be, be able to find these. I mean, in the condition it's in, it could be a little better. But it's, you know, the paint, yeah, it's got a little chip and whatever in the pen. This obviously has been used or whatever, roughed up in storage. It's functional. It's, an, it's a cool collectible. And for me, that's, you know, that all the ink and everything is still perfectly intact. And all that's not really faded away a whole lot. And you can still read it and everything. And it had the original manual. That's a win-win for me. For 20 bucks, I'll pay that all day long for this stuff. And if you have one, by the way, let me know. I'll buy it from you. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. God bless America. Seven threes and have a great day. Stay safe, everybody.